So when I was uh, looking up ways to uh, turn my volume up a little bit, when I was looking up ways to manage the content on my site there without using something server side like WordPress that will take up more resources on my uh, on my VPS and possibly make it so I have to upgrade that. I discovered this one thing called Hugo, and I've been learning a little bit about it there, and I just wanted to share some knowledge there because there's not a whole lot of videos on how to create stuff from scratch. Like people generally want you t to use their themes and stuff like that, uh, and yeah, it is easier that way. But I feel like maybe if I do like a guided learning on how to make something from scratch, or uh, some people would probably appreciate that. So first things first is you need a code editor. I prefer vis Visual Studio Code uh, because Emmet makes things nice for doing uh, HTML edits uh, and all that fun stuff. Uh, then you'll need to install Hugo first things first. So you'll want to install Chocolaty. If you're on Windows, this will make it easier to install Hugo. If you're on Linux, you probably know what you're doing, so you'll probably follow Hugo's instructions. So on the Chocolatey website, you click get started here. Then on this page, you just scroll down and you just copy this uh, this PowerShell script and then you launch uh, administrator, or administrator PowerShell, uh, paste it in there, hit enter, it'll install Chocolatey. And after that, you can use this, uh, this Chocolatey Windows section on the, on the install Hugo page. And you just also copy this and paste it into an administrative PowerShell and it'll install Hugo. And you are good to go as far as using Hugo on Windows, but Hugo is a command line application. So we'll get started by opening Visual Studio Code. A Visual Studio Code, you can't open the terminal by grabbing this double arrow here and then pulling it up or, or you can just do control tilde and it'll open the terminal window and uh, from the terminal window you could uh, use Hugo commands which all Hugo commands start with the word Hugo and do space so we'll do space new space site and this will create a new site uh, and yeah we can uh, we can press dot to just create in the directory that I created just for this. If you wanted to create in a folder, uh, pass it current directly at, or directory that you're in, uh, you can just put the folder name and we'll create it in, in like a, a folder structure or in a new folder instead of just doing it in the current. We'll just do a dot that will create in the current. And you'll see all of a sudden these files appear on the left. And these are the files you can edit to pretty much make your own Hugo site. So first things first is we will create uh, some uh, content here. Uh, so we'll just do something like a or open terminal back up. Just to have some base content, so we'll just do uh, Hugo new, and by default, it'll, if you don't specify either like a site or a theme, Hugo will just create a new page. So we'll do underscore index dot md, and these are markdown files. Are a little easier to edit than HTML, and Hugo will build pages around those if we do our layouts correctly. So this will be your home page, and uh, we can do something like and if you do a underscore index dot md in a subdirectory, it'll create some content for that subdirectory that we can use a list page, and then we can list pages under that too, and. Uh, that will create that, and then we'll just do a, a blog post too.
So this will just create some uh, some placeholders, and we can mess around. We can change like the the date if we want to, and then that'll test how it handles date there. Uh, so we'll just do like. And then that'll be like an old post that you copied and pasted from somewhere else. So, uh, so yeah, that's how you make content essentially. But first things first is you'll want to create the pages that you need for, or the layouts that you need to make said content. So under the layouts folder, we'll make a folder called default. Then we need to create a file that's base of b or b a s e o f dot html. And another file that will be a list dot html. You also need index dot html. And I'll do single.html. So essentially base of is going to wrap all the rest of these. And all the rest of these are going to wrap the content that we just created here. So I'm at uh, abbreviations. You can just do an ex exclamation point and it'll create a document like that. So in the title here, we'll do something like, oops, didn't, need, didn't want to wrap that. So we'll do a title block here. Then whenever you do something like a, a block, you have to do an end command too. So essentially these double, so this is standard HTML, but these double uh, squirrely braces uh, will uh, will pass commands onto Hugo and then Hugo will run said commands and then return the result into the HTML. So when you specify a block like this, if you want default uh, text, you can specify that inside between the block and or the block dec declaration and uh, then the end. So when you specify stuff in here, that will be the uh, they'll get put in its place if nothing defines it, this block. So if you don't pass a or define a title block in like either one of the other files, then I'll just put the site title in. And the site title is a variable to for the title in the whole site, which uh, I'll show you too. Might as well show this part. And the config that Tom on the base, you have these. You can change the variables. So base URL that will be the URL of your final deployed site. I'll just put localhost in for now, uh, and we'll just do something like a. Uh, And that will uh, that will specify that this is the site's title uh, to fill that variable. Uh, so back to the base of here. So we got the title set up. We can do a link to, uh, and this will link to a style sheet. So we'll do something like CSS and uh, and we can also do a link. Of favicon, and we can do something like so. The favicon that's like if you have a favicon.jpg in the in the static folder here. Uh, when you deploy your site, like this purple H or this blue C, that's a favicon, and 
what it says up on the tab itself that that's this title here. And the reason why you want to use variables like this too is like just in case you're like, hey, I, I like this, I want to uh, give out to other people. Then if they deploy a template too, it'll automatically replace their uh, their site title. So down in the body tag, this is uh this is what appears down in this area here. So this is uh, the actual site. So we can do something like a, like we might as well do a div here. So div, we'll do a, we'll do dot header and might as well do an ID of header too. That's the M abbreviation to create a div class with class or div uh, tag with a header class and a header ID too. And th those are used to stylize later in CSS. So we'll do uh, we actually will want to do a header tag too. This just helps uh, for me metadata purposes and stuff like that. So robots for search engines know what's header and what's uh, what's main content. So, uh, so we'll just do site title. And after header, we'll do another, uh, or we'll do the main tag. And I'll do uh, something like a From here, we'll do another block. Save that for now, and then we'll do footer. Oops. And we'll do something like a uh,
So this will essentially wrap all the other templates and we'll have to define these blocks in said templates. Uh, if nothing is, uh, we'll do a uh, If nothing is uh, set up for this footer here, it'll just do a back to home link. And it'll do, a, do like an at or class. Just so we can isolate, isolate that later in CSS. So, yes sets up the, the primary template uh, and then we'll go into uh, might as well do the single first and then we can modify from there so and within here we'll do the title variable then we'll do a line down and do a uh, do a uh, there we go and I'll do a h1 another h1 tag and then we'll just do a Just do uh, So that will set up this, uh, this single uh, template. Then from here, we'll just copy and paste that into the list. Uh, then under list, we'll do uh, something like a uh, do an unordered list then I'll do uh, and also to all these commands I am passing into uh, or into Hugo they're all available on the Hugo documentation so you go to the, the go hugo.io you click the docs button up here and you can actually view like what Hugo has to offer. So if you need to clear something up, aside from what I don't offer in this video, feel free to go on here. You can view all these. And there's actually very good documentation. Like a lot of what I learned was just viewing this essentially. <laughs> so that's all there is to it. So learn how to use that and you'll be good to go. So we'll do
and there we go. And uh, under here we'll do a list item, and we'll do a. Uh, And uh, a tag first. We'll do a uh, dot date and that format. Uh, we'll do. And when you specify date formats, you do have to use this two or January second, two thousand six date. Anything else, they'll skew the date uh, based around that. So, yeah, you do want to use that date. Just keep in mind. Uh, I'll do a dash and I'll do an A tag. And within there, I'll do. That will be uh, that relevant permalink. And I'll do. Within the A tags, we'll do and after that, we'll do end and let that uh, unordered list close or close and. After that, we'll just do that. And index, because I don't want page list on the index, I'll just do this, modify it. Uh, we're probably just going to not do anything in this page title here. And we'll do, uh, we won't specify a title for the index here because we just want to show the site title. So those are the layouts and also too if you create folders within the layout. So if you do another folder in the layouts and do blog, when you create files in the blog subdirectory under content, it'll also look into here first to see if it, it'll look into the corresponding folder under uh, layouts to see if there's a layout in there for the, the blog uh, page and we'll apply this. So we'll do, we'll copy that into the blog. And from here you can do like another div and just do like a, emphatic text and I'll just do and I'll put the post date within the uh, Uh, post there so you'll see after we get all that set up there we open a terminal and then just do uh, Hugo ser space server it'll launch a you Oh.
it was because I did that. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I just forgot to put the end block in. Some real time diagnostics here. So, if we reload here. This is what we got so far. So it's automatically generating pages based on that template. So now under static here, we can create a CSS folder, and we will uh, we will create a styles.css, and we can stylize things now. Uh, so we'll do like. Make it a little easier to read. And I'll do like uh, 900 pixels for max width. Specify auto margins. And that will make it look something like this. Cool. And then we can do like a dot. Then to do classes, you do dot. To do IDs, you do hash. Uh, so we'll do dot page to specify all page content. Then uh, we'll do something like that. Then we can do like You can play around with colors until you get what you want. So I'll create like a dark blue background for page. So if I save that, oops, you can see how this is highlighted. And then we can do like a I'll create some padding around there. I'm going to do border. In the style, we can do something like or for ID. And I'll center that up here. We can also do something like a. And we'll do H headers inside a page. Or actually, we'll do main content. So just do.
I'll also do a text align center in there. So that makes it so that So we can go like a uh, page title. Text line left. some reason it's also going something like that so sometimes if uh, that fails you It doesn't for the main content, it's weird. You can just go into like these uh these templates here. So you can just go like So yeah, so then your page titles will be to the left and then, uh, then your content titles will be centered. I just kind of prefer that, but uh, so now we'll go back here uh, and style CSS too. You can also use other elements like doing A's will change your links. So we can do like a Want kind of bright, so we'll do 230, 10, 10. That's it'll be like a bright red for the links. You can also do something like a or actually. Kind of wanted to see. Here, so we can do like so I'll center the footer too, and we can kind space it down a little bit yeah CSS is really like you you can just play around with like get, get what you want uh, so yeah some, something like that just get started And, uh, is there anything else I should do here?
I don't think so. So yeah, once you get everything styled the way you want to in your content in the content folder here, uh, and you want to deploy it to your web server, all you're going to do is just run the hugo command. And that will actually create the file and folder uh, structure for you just to be able to upload it. So literally everything in this public folder you just upload to your web host and you're all set to go. Uh, you can tell like yeah, it automatically created this content too. So you have the index for the blog and you have your posts too. So, uh, so yeah, that's how you generate things once you uh, get your content set up. But another nice thing about Hugo is if you did this site manually and let's say you wanted to add a link to go back to the blog page from each blog post, you'd literally have to go into your blog files here into every single one of these posts. You'd have to go on here, add the link. Uh, so you'd have to go down to the footer and just be like, yeah, link to the uh, like blog post or whatever but that would take a lot of time so because I when I did this first footer thing uh, was it back here on the on the base of here that's meant to be able to add content to it later so I just go into this single blog file here after the content or after this. I'll just do a define footer. Actually, yeah, I think it was just footer. And we'll just do an A tag, for example, and then we'll just do a something like that under there. Now when we run Hugo server go into blog and on here you'll have this back to blog link on your blog pages. So that's something that is really handy and then you can see uh, when we go back to here so I don't have to stop the server. I'll just run Hugo in this one. It'll generate that so I can go into here under blog and on this post. And you can see that added that content for us. So that's very helpful. So if you ever want to change something on your template, you can just change it, run Hugo again. It'll make the updates on every one of your pages and just up upload that back to your web server. So that, that's very helpful uh, part about using Hugo too so it's not just for the content so it's like let's say you're like down the road like yeah you're using you have your site on there and you're like hey I want to write a blog post so you can just do Hugo new then we'll do post to that MD And I'll create this post, or I'll just rename this to post to. And then I'll get rid of that line, don't need it. So, uh, we can just be like,
we'll just mess around on here. So Hugo will automatically create these uh, the pages for this content. So because we set up the template here, you can see what we just created is now available as a web page. So like once you create that file like I just did, you literally go back here and you run Hugo. And under the, the public folder here, it created for that post too. Automatically, so you just re upload to your web server and everything's all set up for you that way. So we can even keep doing that. We can just be like, be post three and let's go into post two and let's test this out a little bit we'll change this to like Halloween or something like that so going back here Oh, this is because it still has a draft line, so. So, yep, so now we got this whole, this list that just created for us. So, yeah, this is how you make a site using Hugo. And as you can tell, it's not that difficult. Uh, And you can update content on it using Markdown, and then you can uh, you can just run the Hugo command, and then it'll recreate those uh, those files for you. So we'll just go uh, down here. So under the public folder now we have blog, and then we have post three now, and you'll see for the blog index. You can see under each of these it automatically created those list items. So yeah, that's, that's how you use Hugo or how to at least get started with it with just the most basic of blogs, uh, similar to the, the site that I currently have up. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, if this was helpful to you, feel free to like and share this video. And if not, please offer some constructive criticism.